Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy Flyers Guy, and welcome to Flyers Minor League Report. Today, the Reading Royals will take on the Maine Mariners today at 3 o'clock. I will be streaming the game on YouTube, so if you like, Please check it out. Um, when we last left off, the Reading Royals faced off against the Adirondack Thunder in Orange Falls, New York. The Adirondack, uh, the Reading Royals got on the board first with a goal by Matt Strom. The Adirondack Thunder and tied it up one to one. In the second period, Braden Lowe, get, 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 Braden Lowe gave the Royals a 2 1 lead. In the third period, the Adirondack the Thunder tied the score 2. The third period ended, and the game went into overtime. The Royals did not really get sustained pressure, sustained possession. There were times when they had chances, and there were times when they lost the puck. But it didn't matter because in overtime, Patrick McNally, with a sweet move, scores the overtime game winning goal to give the Royals a 3 2 win in overtime. Today, the Red Royals want to keep the winning going as they take on the main mound. Red Royals. Are getting ready for a Halloween themed game as they take on the main Mariners in May. Can the Reading Royals get their third win of the season? Well, we'll find out as the Reading Royals take on the main Mariners in ECHL action. Just a reminder that I will be streaming this game for Royals Afternoon Hockey, so please, if you'd like, Please check out my stream. I'm Timmy Flyers Guy, and thank you for joining me. And I hope you all have, I hope you're all having a happy Halloween. Let's go, Royals. And before I end this video, I want to show you a few pictures of my costume for today's game. Thank you for joining me. I'm Terry Flowers Guy. Let's go Royals and re roar 20 forever.